Scientific Notation A couple space examples presented by Pacristobal. Today we're going to use the information from the NASA publication called Algebra 2. We're going to use worksheet number 6.1.3 and it's free to download from NASA. So here's the link here and let's get started. First, let's review some exponent rules and some scientific notation rules. So first, when we multiply, we add exponents. And when we divide, we subtract them. And a positive exponent shows that the decimal point is shifted that number of places to the right in scientific notation. A negative exponent shows that the decimal point is shifted that number of places to the left in scientific notation. The following problems involve the multiplication and division of numbers expressed in scientific notation. Report all answers to two significant figures. So let's do it. So what I like to do is I take 1.34 times 4.5, I take the actual numbers, and then I multiply by 10 to the 8th times 10 to the 6th. But remember, when we multiply, we add the exponents. So that's why I have 8 plus 6. So 1.34 times 4.5 is 6.03 times 10 to the 14th. But remember, the question is asking us to report all answers to two significant figures. So I have to round. And it turns out our answer is 6.0 times 10 to the 14th. Let's look at this division. It's the same as multiplication except for dividing. So we're going to take 3.45 divided by 2.1. And then for our exponents, we're going to be subtracting. So that's why I have negative 5 minus 6. When I divide, I end up with 1.643 times 10 to the negative 11. Once again, we need to report all answers to two significant figures, so I have to round. And it turns out our answer is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 11. Find the number of stars in the visible universe. Ooh, this is exciting. So let's do it. 2 times 8, and then we have 10 to the 11th times 10 to the 10th. So that's why I took 11 plus 10. So we end up with 16 times 10 to the 21. We need to change our answer to scientific notation. So we end up with 1.6 times 10 to the 22nd stars. Wow, that's a lot. Find the average density of the sun. In this case, NASA says we need to divide, so let's do it. We're going to take 1.9 divided by 1.4, and our exponents, when we divide, we're going to subtract. So we have 33 minus 33. This gives us 1.35 times 10 to the 0. So once again, we need to report all the answers to two significant figures. So we end up with 1.4 times 1. Did you remember that 10 to the 0 is actually 1? Sure is. So it turns out that our answer is 1.4 grams per centimeters cubed. I want you to try this one, so you're going to pause the video, simplify the examples, then play to check. So let's look at our answers. The first one I multiplied 5.2 times 2.1, and I added their exponents. But we need to report all the answers um, to two significant figures and in scientific notation. So the first thing I did was actually change it to scientific notation and then convert it to... So the first thing I did was change this to scientific notation. So I have 1.092 times 10 to the 10th, because I moved one place. And then I only get two significant digits. So I had to round. So I'm actually looking at the 9 here. So I ended up with 1.1 times 10 to the 10th. So that's how I got that answer. The next one, I basically did the same thing. So I need to change this to scientific notation which is 1.26 times 10 to the seventh, but I can only have two significant digits. So when I look here, I know I have to round up. So that's why I got 1.3 times 10 to the seventh. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Be sure to download the free worksheet from NASA in the link below. And this is great for teachers. So definitely this stuff is free from NASA. Use it. Use my videos all you want. They're in the Creative Commons. And I hope to see you again.